Hi guys, I've had a couple of people comment that the motor in this hairdryer is a DC motor and we should be able to get it running by putting DC or a battery on it. Um, I've done something like this before with a motor from the garden strimmer. Uh, they're universal motors, so I'll put a link up in the corner of the screen somewhere to a nice animated video that explains how they work. But they do work on DC and they do work on AC, which is quite interesting. The point is they don't have a magnet in them. The magnetism or magnetic field is created by the current passing through the coils on either side, so that gives you your magnetic field and then at the same time the current also passes through the commutator there into the um, armature windings in the middle and because of the sequence or the setup then you get the right flow of current in the right direction in the right coil to repel the current or the magnetic field created in the armature. Rather than me trying to explain it, have a look at the video that I've linked to. Uh, it'll also be linked in the video description if you're viewing this on a system that doesn't let you see the uh, things up in the top corner here. Um, anyway, we'll go out in the shed and give it a try. I've tried it in here using uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, six, seven and a half volts. Um, I did have 12 volts here somewhere. I also tried it on a LiPo and it didn't work. So we'll try it out in the shed where I've got my 12 volt battery that I use for hot wire cutting uh, on the phone or hot wire phone cutting. That's 12 volts off my battery that I keep out here for doing my hot wire cutting on my aeroplanes. Hot wire foam cutting. But uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get this motor to spin up. I'll put a link uh, up here somewhere to the video I did with, um, I think it was a lawn strimmer, glass, grass cutter thing, and we did manage to get that one to spin up with 12 volts. is potentially a, well it's an AC motor, but I have seen them referred to as universal motors, that they run both on AC or DC. It's not going very fast, but we're only giving it 12 volts. But this one doesn't seem to be interested. Let's try re reversing it again. Because nah. it's quite possible 
it may be 40. But it doesn't want to go. I think these blue things that look like capacitors uh, cut out when they get overheated. Although I think they're supposed to reset themselves. I can't actually read if there's anything. Oh yeah, there is something written on that. When we go back inside I'll have a look, see what's written on there. There's also something sealed under here in some black heat shrink. So I don't know what they will be. But the answer is, as it is at the moment, just connecting a good sized DC battery to it is not getting it to go, even though it's a universal motor. Nothing. Dead. Completely. Just check we have actually got some voltage. about 13 volts showing there, 12.9 yeah so it's in reasonably good condition that battery it stays out here all the time and it's trickle charged oh. there's, a, there's a solar panel behind there somewhere that dark shadow. <laughs> yeah, that keeps it trickle charged all the time. I've just checked and that motor still works fine AC so I don't think there's any fault with it. It just needs more power than I get from a 12 volt battery. So I've got a very very temporary rig here just so we can demonstrate. So yes, that one still works. AC. But when I try it on that 12 volt battery, which has plenty of current, it doesn't work. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.